This record stood for 65 years for a reason because it takes a lot of dedication and skill and luck to pull this off and a team behind you and uh, other players that try to break my record and they will try and they might succeed, we'll find out. It is quite a task. And what I'm happy about this is that there, it's very transparent. You're going to see the table I did it on, the pocket size I did it on, the cue I did it with. It was on video, and I just think that's, that's really good and about time. You know, so hopefully 100 years from now, when, if somebody breaks this record, you know, they can look back at what I did, and, and all the details are there and laid out. Uh, the run ended at uh, 7 minutes after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And it was a, a very emotional result. Uh, the amount of time, effort, dedication, and commitment that the John and, and the team put into this uh, quest uh, finally resulted in a success, if you will. And some days I would wake up and I said, Doug, I slept really good last night and I feel amazing. And the two days prior, I had run 330 something and 370 something, so I knew that I was on the verge of maybe something great if I could just get real lucky and hold it together. That 526 balls is a phenomenal achievement. Very, very difficult to, to, to realize those type of numbers. And when I heard that John was embarking on that quest to try to challenge that number, I felt that uh, he would need some help and support, not just from myself, but many other people. You can't do it by yourself. Then my wife, noticed it's 527 you're trying to run 527 on 527 we all kind of had this sense that something good was going to happen i mean not 626 i i can't even utter those words i never would say i'm going to run 600 but i thought man today might be the day i can break that 490 and and uh it's all a blur still it's surreal that i did it this has been a <clears throat> kind of the gold standard of the pool uh, the pool game for over 65 years. Uh, one of the legendary superstars of our game, Willie Nascone, set the record on March 19th in Springfield, Ohio. I always joke that I could count by 14 as good as anybody, uh, you know. So I knew, and I asked Doug, I was a nervous wreck, and I asked Doug, how many do I need to tie? And he said two. And, you know, and then I made a ball, and I said, this ball here ties or wins? I couldn't even think straight. So the 527th ball, I actually put my cue down and went to the bathroom and washed my hands and gathered myself because I was getting very emotional. I was really getting um, so excited I couldn't think straight. And, and it was a very easy shot, the 527th ball. And to me, I almost felt like I missed it. So, um, oh, I knew exactly the number I was on and so did my whole team and, and, and everybody was just uh, in the pool room standing there you know with their cameras going and really wanting me to pull this off because everybody in this pool room has been on this journey with me for over a year the employees the owner my my buddy doug his wife my wife my friends back home my dad as you can imagine this was the most exciting day in my life and i've been on moscone cups and you know us opens and things like that and i will i will always remember you know 527 2019 for sure the thing with straight pull is I, I really get a kick out of running a big run and knowing that it's shots that I would have chosen in an actual match. So in my opinion, I ran up to 560 before I shot a very low percentage shot where I might have played a safety. So uh, the run was what we'd call clean by straight pull standards. And the shot that ended it, I would have shot in a match and I missed it, it was a combination, but I could make it most of the time. But my thing was once I got past 527, the pressure was so relieved and I was so much more relaxed. And I, I looked at Doug and I said, I'm dangerous now. I might run something crazy like 550 or 580. And he said, next stop, Sixville. We're going to six. 
And uh, I just remember hearing him say 588 and 602, and that just like made my, you know, hair stand up on my neck. I just couldn't believe it. And, um, you know, 626 is a number that I really did not think was possible by me anyway. Bob Hunter told me in 1997, once you can run 200 balls playing straight pool, you can go out on the road and nobody's gonna beat you. You can play professional pool. So I used it as my barometer to test myself if I was good enough. All the guys that have ran the monster numbers, they've been heroes of mine from the beginning, the Mike Siegels and, and Willie Moscones and Euphemia and all anybody that, that played straight pool their whole life, I have respect. I do believe that there's been some big numbers out there, you know, but my thing is, and I've always said this, and I don't mean it disrespectfully, without a camera, it's just kind of hard to talk about it because with today, it's so easy to have a camera that I think, you know, the camera is for one gonna verify, but it also sheds light on pool. So if, if Joshua Filler or Shane Van Boning tomorrow breaks my running on camera, I'm gonna be the first to say, wow, that's awesome, great shooting. You know, because it sheds light on our industry and on our game, because everybody's fighting over one pocket and straight pool and nine ball and 10 ball. You know, the general public doesn't know. We just need the general public to see pool. Culturally, pool in America needs to reshape itself a little bit. And I'd love to be the guy that kind of gets it back on the right path because uh, bar table, nine ball and eight ball is not the way to become the best player you can be. With John's help and support and his character and charisma, is try to make an additional contribution to the game and to help and assist this game to take it to the next level uh, in, in, in public recognition, if you will, to give it a greater presence and uh, develop the game and make it a better sport, a bigger sport for more people to appreciate, to participate, and, and to enjoy throughout their lifetimes. I've been playing it for 20 years and I've never been able to master it. Uh, 626, many people consider mastering it and I'm far from done. It would have been very easy to throw in the towel on my career and have everybody just throw me away and forget about me and they didn't. I appreciate it. I really do.